please welcome Julie Peasgood and daughter Kate McHenry. <laughs> ho, ho, ho! <laughs> Hi, guys. Happy Christmas. How are you? Happy Christmas, Happy Christmas, Christmas. Happy Christmas, Happy Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm enjoying the show. <laughs> Julie Peasgood is an actress and TV presenter who started a career on stage with the Royal Shakespeare Company, but has since had rather more exposure on television, especially the time she played a stripper in an ITV drama. And you can't fail to at least recognise her face if you're a fan of soaps, as she's been in just about all of them at one time or another, including Brookside, Emmerdale and Hollyoaks, where Julie now plays the irrepressible character Jackie Hudson, but Kate, the daughter, plays tomboy Jodie Nash. Now, Kate's actually been acting since the age of five, and credits include all sorts of things, include Drop the Dead Donkey and Murder Most Horrid. <laughs> Mum Julie's also presented more DIY cookery and travel programmes than seems humanly possible. Fifteen questions, three brand new life finds, a possible one million pounds for their charity. Lots of luck. Let's play Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? <laughs> OK, so question number one is for £100. What type of protective headgear do motorcyclists traditionally wear? Bash helmet. Crash helmet. Slash oh. helmet. <laughs> flash helmet. Crash, crash helmet. Crash helmet. Crash helmet. Right answer, you've got £100. <laughs> from now on, you can go at any point you like. <laughs> but stay for a while, I think, you, uh, I think you might find you quite like it, actually. Have a look, question number two for 200 quid. here it comes. Which of these is a short, pointed beard worn on the chin? Horsey. <laughs> Goatee. Hamstery. <laughs> They're being silly now, aren't they? Giraffey. Goatee. <laughs> Goatee, yeah. definitely. Tell the writers are having a good Christmas. It's the right answer. You've got 200 quid. <laughs> Have a look at question number three. 300 pounds. Which of these is an informal term for a close friend who accompanies another on adventures? Side punch. Side kick. Side slap. Side bite. Side kick. Side kick. Mum and daughter as one. It's the right answer. You've got £300. <laughs> this is question number four for 500 quid. Which of these had a UK number one single in October 2001? Afro Man. Her Man. Mullet Man. <laughs> Beehive Man. It's the right answer, you've got £500. <laughs> Bit quiet on that one, Mummy. <laughs> right, you've got £500. Quid. Last point, you go home with nothing, but you could guarantee £1,000 in going back to Grimsby. Uh, you got all three lifelines. Have a look at question number five. In which country is the famous Valley of the Kings? Why are you sticking your thumb up? Because we could be there. <laughs> what are you hoping will come up? Egypt. OK, if it doesn't come up, panic. Greece. Egypt. India. France. Egypt. Egypt. That's the right answer. You've got £1,000. Well played, you two. Yeah. <laughs> what a team. <laughs> What's it like at home when you're watching this programme? Are you very calm and no? Oh no, <laughs> we, we love it and screams and, and you know, in all the time, I thought you'd be all sort of sophisticated. Oh and please, there. no! In all the time it's been on, it's never lost that sort of bum on the edge of the seat impact no. screaming out. No. That's what's so fantastic. You really do get quite into it, don't you? Yeah, I love. I'm, ashamed. I'm not. I'm not ashamed. What's up there? Come on, Kate. Well, I'm, I mean, sorry, I'm, I'm talking not... screaming. I mean, you know, hands to the head. No, it's not that, <laughs> that big. That big. More. <laughs> but it is very different. I know Patrick knows says it. it. Dad knows. It is so <laughs> yeah. different in that chair, mate. I it's see it so night after different. night. It is yeah. so different. But also, you see, now, for the next sort of ten minutes or half an hour or whatever of your lives, however long you stay, they will be screaming all over Britain at you yes, two. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Weird Don't thought, be so blonde! That's what my <laughs> friend said. She said, it'll be great Christmas Day and everyone will be watching you going, no, you're an idiot! <laughs> <Come on. laughs> all right, listen, serious business. This is for 2,000 quid. Which of these was a regular character in Fulty Towers? The sergeant. The captain. The Major. The Corporal. You're sure it's Major? And, um, hold on, I've got to take my time, cos cos my instinct is to say the Major. I'm sure... The Sergeant, the Captain... Regular character in 40 It's a bit before my time. Come on, Mum. Well, <laughs> it is a bit before your time. I loved it. Well, then, who was it? 
Yeah, but, but it would be absolutely awful to yeah, be really right. certain what and then go, think? oh, no. You think it's the major, don't you? I think it's the major. Take your time, have a look at it. Which of these was a regular character in Forty Towers? The sergeant, the captain, the major, the corporal. This is the one where they're all screaming. <laughs> they ask, I'm sure it's the major, but but what if it's not? Um... How much do you trust your own instincts? Usually, if, when we play at home, my, in, my initial instincts are right. I just couldn't stand. It... I, I can remember, like, we're talking one, two percent here, but I can remember them vaguely, I think. I, I... What should we do? Are we going to use a lifeline or are we going to... You guarantee the thousand. For... That's, that's there. I've got a thousand. You can't lose any money on this one. I think we should ask the audience. OK, audience, no pressure then. This is the question. It's for £2,000. Which of these was a regular character in Fawlty Towers? A, B, C or D, all vote now. Yes! Oh. <laughs> That's quite high. <laughs> That's 91%. And we thought that. And we thought that. Shall we go for it, Shall we go for it? We'd be daft to waste another. I mean, that would be really wimpy. Yeah. 91% we'll is quite good. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. Final answer. Final answer. It's the right answer. Oh! Thank you, audience. Thank you. Your face. Yeah. Your face is fantastic. <laughs> it's the right answer. Morning, Major. It's that. Morning, Major. Uh, morning, Major. Yeah. Right. You got to listen. You got two thousand pounds, and yeah. you still got those two lifelines. Have a look at question number seven. It's for four thousand. Here it comes. The entrepreneur, Sir Freddie Laker, is most commonly associated with which industry? What are you waiting to see come on your screen? Aeroplanes. OK. Aviation. Aviation. Health food. Film. Shipping. You seem really sure, are you? Freddie Laker. Yes. yes. Yeah, aviation. It could be, it could, it's not health food. Listen, let me just go through it soon. <laughs> it's definitely not health food. It's not film. And it's not film. Is it shipping, Sir Freddie Laker? Oh, no, aviation. Final answer. Yes. Yeah. Shut me up. <laughs> it's the right answer. You've got 4,000 pounds. I did it. Have a look at question number eight. You're eight away from a million. You can double your money here to 8,000 pounds. Here it comes. The notorious gangster Al Capone. Sorry, Why are you whispering? Sorry, that's really, sorry. It's not rude, it doesn't matter. It's just it you're gonna have to tell no, Sooner or later you're gonna have to tell me, otherwise it won't be much sorry, of a show. Sorry, I said parking. What I remember from his no, sorry. Parking. parking. They got him in parking tickets, they couldn't get him for anything else. That's what I heard. I might be wrong. Okay, wait and see. Oh. Notorious gangster Al Capone was finally convicted on what charges in 1931? Perjury. Might be wrong. Tax evasion. Oh, tax evasion then. Assault. <laughs> Burglary. It was I thought it was something like parking. No parking on a double yellow there, is it? <laughs> yeah, it was something like. Who do you want? I said that it was something like he hadn't paid all these like it's parking tickets. Yeah. So I was yeah. thinking it was one of those. So tax evasion, okay. you know, paperwork. Assault, I doubt it. No, they got him on a paperwork somebody else thing. do the assault, wouldn't he? Are you keeping up with all this? <laughs> it's different to parking tickets. Are you being trapped with these two on a desert island? It is sort of, you know. I'm happy. I am happy to trust you. I'm really happy to trust you, and I forgive you if it's wrong. Gonna play. Um, this is, yeah. Final <laughs> answer, Julie. Fi you have to agree, you two. Final oh, answer, please. Julie. I think it's. If I was on my own, I'd go for it. And if it wasn't obviously for charity, if it wasn't tax evasion. If you were on your own, if I was you'd on go my own, for it. It was darling. my money. I'd say tax evasion without a look back. Go for it. Go for it. Final Listen. Answer. Yeah. Tax evasion. They know tax we're evasion. doing our best. We're That's doing our best. Tax evasion. It's gone orange. You just won eight thousand yeah. pounds. <laughs> Uh, I, well, I hope you're keeping up with this at home. I'm beginning to <laughs> lose the plot. Um, <laughs> you've got £8,000. It's good. Uh, you've still got two lifelines. You're two away from £32,000. Have a look at number nine. This is for £16,000. Here it comes. Who did Muhammad Ali fight in the thriller in Manila? Joe Frazier. Leon Spinks. George Foreman. Ernie Shavers. 
Right, we should have asked the audience on this one. Um, <laughs> too late. Too late. Now, I think which of our sporting... We're not sporty people. We're not sporty people. Which of um, our sporty friends would know this, maybe? I mean, who did... I haven't got a clue. Steve might know it. Thriller in Manila. Or Chris might know it. Well, I think the only one I know there is, well, like, no, Joe knows. Fraser. I don't know. I think Steve might know this. Yeah? I think Steve. Would Lindsay know it? No, no, no. Let's no, Lindsay Steve. wouldn't know. It. <laughs> Ma Mary might know it. No, Mary might know it. But no, but she doesn't. She's not who, who is our Who's our sporty person? We put someone in for Chris sport. Chris or, or, or Steve. Chris or Steve, really, well, on this one. David, Chris, well, like, he knows. Like, David yeah. might know it. Well, Dave might, yeah. I think Steve. Not Mary. She did a bit of boxing when she was younger. Mary, Mary. has. <laughs> Mary truly has. And Mary Let Mary, us ask Steve. She's encyclopedic knowledge, but she said not sport. Let's ask Steve. Who did Mohammed look like? Steve. Let's and he's good on telly and films. Well, there you go. Because I have no idea. I say Joe Frazier, but that's the one that's the most familiar. Um, yeah, I say Joe Frazier because it's just familiar, that's why. Which is not the way to play this, so... We'll, we'll phone Fen, please. So we're going to phone Steve. Yeah. You yeah. happy? Right. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's Steve? Steve is at home in Wimbledon. Now, I don't know how to break this to you two. You'll only have 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> It can be done. Listen, I can do concise People have done this. Yeah, you can do that. Hello? Steve? Yeah? Hiya, it's Chris Tarrant here on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? And a happy Christmas to you. Oh, happy Christmas to you. What a surprise. Now, Steve, I've got Julie and Kate here. Uh, they're doing fine. They're on £8,000 at the moment, which is great. But oh, they're brilliant. stuck on a particular question. Um, with your help, Steve, we can get them up to 16000 I'll do my best. All right, mate, please do. Next voice here will be Julie's. She'll have only 30 seconds to tell you the question. There are four possible answers. One of these is worth £16,000. OK. Brilliant. All right, mate, fingers crossed. Okay. Happy Christmas. Julie, your time starts now. Steve, who did Muhammad Ali fight in the thriller in Manila? Was it Joe Frazier, Leon Spinks, George Foreman or Ernie Shavers? Who did Muhammad Ali fight in the thriller in Manila? I'm not 100 per cent, but it was either Joe Fraser or George Foreman. OK, thanks, Steve. No, should we ask yeah, how should, I mean, which do you think Eight. more? Which should I be think a... Joe Fraser. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much, Steve. OK, Happy good Christmas. luck. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Steve. <laughs> OK, well, we... Ah, oh, in my little knowledge thought, you know, Joe Fraser, but you thought it, he said it. I think, Kate, that we... Should play our 50 50. 50 yeah. Is that right? No, idea? that's a great idea. Um, Chris, we'd like to go 50 okay. 50. Thanks. Uh, computer take away two wrong answers. Leave Julian Kate the right answer and one remaining wrong answer. Oh. Should we go for yeah, Let's go yeah. for it. Joe Frazier. Because we both thought that and, and Steve, Steve did. Final answer. Oh, oh, yes. And forgive us if we're wrong because we're just. It's the right answer. Yeah. He wants to see this answer. Happy Christmas.